it's a fact of life, so let me share it with you. If we talk about people's learning uh, across practice opportunity, so we have practice opportunity in that dimension, and we have L for learning in this dimension. Let's just compare what people actually learn from repeated practice of a skill and what they think they learn. If you look at perceived learning, perceived learning tends to look like this. That is, if we have one practice opportunity, two, three, four, five, and so on, the first time people try an exercise. For example, it might be mm, carrying out an interview. The first time they think they learned an awful lot from doing it. Ask them to do the same thing a second time, and their perceived learning is very low, a third and a fourth, fifth, and they get bored as hell. If you can force them through that, they begin to show an improvement again. In terms of their perceived learning, they say, hey, I really am learning some new things. But this dip here, this trough, is a very dangerous one, known under a variety of vulgar names, which we may come on to later. But if you try to measure their actual learning, actual learning seems to be more like this. In other words, people learn a lot less from doing something once than they do from doing it twice or three times or four times. So learning, if we take by actual learning, meaning what an observer would see in terms of skills performance, more and more of the skills are displayed, even though people don't feel they're learning anything new. Now, what does this mean in terms of incremental build of skills? It means, among other things, this. Even if it was a good learning strategy to expose the whole skill to a person in one piece and allow them to practice it five times, their perceived learning would drop off very rapidly. I think you've all seen how difficult it is to get people to repeat exercises, even though the learning from doing it is often much, much higher than the first time through. Because people look at the novelty of an experience and equate novelty with learning very often. Now, what that does mean, in terms of incremental build of skills, is one of the ways around that difficulty is to take skills piece by piece so each time people practice a skill, there is something new about the practice situation. So perceived learning is higher. Especially if you can work a building block approach so each time through, what people are doing is adding a piece of skill.